In this video, I'm gonna show you how to train your AI to sound and talk just like you. But before we get into that, I wanna make sure that you did get a chance to download my free brand interview guide with those 30 questions so AI can know you better than your mother. Okay, once, if you have not received the AI brand interview guide, check the link in the comment section to get that guide now, record your answers to those 30 questions and bake them into your AI. Now, now that AI knows you, in this video, I'm gonna train you to train it to talk like you. Without further ado, let's dive in. Introducing Notebook LM, and you can find it at notebooklm.google. Notebook LM is a Google tool and it's a great tool for putting a ton of different resources into a bucket and extracting any sort of information you want from it. So this is a great tool to put all of that content that you've created into one bucket so AI can get to know the way you talk. Now, here's one that I've created for myself, Jason Hunt Brand Voice. I've uploaded all sorts of different podcast episodes I've been on. I've uploaded YouTube videos I've created. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't have any YouTube videos created or you haven't been on podcasts, that's okay. Why don't you just go to YouTube, record a video talking about your area of expertise, okay? It could be a five minute video. You can make it private if you don't want it to be public. That's okay, it doesn't matter. What we're trying to do here and trying to figure out is extract the nuances of the way you talk, the words you use, the way you use them, and then bake it in to your AI so we can use those same words when you get it to rewrite emails, writing blog content, social media posts, all that jazz, okay? Now pay attention to this part because this is the section where it's important to extract that information that you need to get from the content you're submitting into the resources section on this side. Now, the prompt I used here is analyze the speaking style, tone and language patterns used by Jason in the provided YouTube videos. Based on this analysis, create a grammar and style guide that enables AI to generate text that mimics Jason's natural speaking voice, including common phrases, sentence structure, and overall conversation flow. Now, this is going to be scanning those 12 sources that I've put over here in the sources section to extract that information. Now, if you want to get access to that exa exact prompt, it's very easy to use. If you just take a screenshot of that bubble there and throw it into AI, you don't need to type out that text. Now, here's the information I got from Notebook LM. Jason Hunt's speaking style, tone, and language patterns as evidenced in the provided YouTube video transcripts are distinctly energetic, confident, and highly conversational, designed to inform and engage his audience with actionable insights. Okay, now if I go down the list here, I don't have to read it all, but what I will be doing is grabbing all of this information, copying it, and putting it into a document. You can see here, it gives me the overall tone and speaking style. It breaks that down. Authoritative and confident breaks down that as well. Conversational and informal direct and action oriented, relatable and authentic. All right. And it cites specific examples of things I talk about. Like for example, doom scrolling, failed rock star. It's pulling this and extracting it from the content I provided it. Common uh, phrases and idioms. Uh, let's dive in first and foremost. Next you have. So this is going to avoid words such as delve, unlock and elevate, which are overused chat GPT words that I would never use in my everyday language. Emphasis and agreement. The key is, I do say that all the time, uh, that's why, absolutely. Also using the word pain point, I talk about pain points a lot, especially when we're developing ideal customer profiles. We're always talking about pain points, cold audiences versus warm audience. You get the picture, right? It breaks this down and this is very valuable information for you to feed into your own AI so we can start talking in your tone. It even breaks down language patterns, common phrases, sentence structure and flow overall conversational flow, right? This is awesome stuff, which I am gonna go ahead and copy. Now you can either do this in ChatGPT or Claude, and I'll show you the way I do it in Claude. So what I'm going to do is please turn this into an MD file, which is a markdown file. And I'm just gonna paste all that information in there. 
and it's going to turn that into an MD file. Reason why I'm using an MD file is MD files are very, can be easily um, extracted through AI. AI can easily read MD files. It makes it very easy when you ask AI questions to take any of the information from the MD file and give you the correct answer. Sometimes uh, some AI might have trouble uh, distinguishing or, or scanning through PDFs and other documents and stuff. MD, at least with Claude, is the best file type to use. So now that I have my MD file, I can simply go up here and just download as a markdown file. Once that is done, I can go back to my J JSON personal brand project and I'm going to grab that file and stick it in here to my project knowledge base. And there it is there. So those 170 lines from that document have been added to my project knowledge base amongst a ton of different documents. That, so my JSON personal brand project and Claude can know me, speak like me, and know me better than my sister, okay? If you are somebody that prefers to use ChatGPT and you have the paid version of ChatGPT, you have the ability to create custom GPTs. In this case here, I have my personal ghostwriter, which I will use in certain situations. An another uh, AI that talks like me and knows me well, has my book transcript, has uh, um, several different blog posts, emails, and the way I write emails. It has that knowledge, so it knows to give me output that sounds like me. I am going to go ahead and show you how easy it is just to go to edit GPT. You're gonna to go to configure, and when you scroll down here, you're gonna see, this is my custom GPT. You're gonna see I have my knowledge here. This is my knowledge base. I'm just gonna simply upload that file. I just created, I'm gonna upload it there, perfect. And now I'm going to update my GPT. It's automatically updating. Perfect. Make sure it's updated. And now my chat GPT is fully armed and ready to rock and roll. So if I give it a prompt to talk like me, it's going to naturally do it. I don't even have to say talk like me because anytime I prompt the, this specific uh, custom GPT, it's automatically going to give me output based on the way I talk. If you have any questions about this or you haven't received your 30 question AI brand interview guide, um, hit the comments below. There'll be a link there as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Listen to me.